right, so the toilet's here. I see no vent. See, this thing comes across over here. And there is a vent in the corner over here, but that doesn't tie into this plate. But there's no fitting. There is a fitting. They use that to cheat right here. So that double cross also causes stoppages, obviously. But if there's no vent, it's not going to drain right. That trap is full of rock right there. And so we're going to tunnel back underneath there once we open this up. Because what we need to do here is take this from this toilet flange right here. Make sure that we're in the right spot off the wall with the drywall. And then put it on a 45 over. Bring it around here. We'll take this and drop it straight down into the ground and, and then wide into the main sewer right here. Back off here and back in this area, we were going to put a studer vent so they would need a louvered vent right there. Now, we're not going to install the louvered vent because whoever does the drywall can do that. It just needs to be open so that air can get into it. Uh, like I said, that's full of rock. And so we need to replace the trap. They've already dug to about right here underneath there. So you only got about another six inches. They have plenty of room with all this here. So then redo the piping so it comes around here, tie this on a Y, tie this on a separate Y, and then Y off for the uh, for the studer vent, and then backfill with, with gravel. So there's some, some dirt that's out there mixed with all this concrete that we're going to haul away for, and we're going to bring in gravel to backfill all this stuff and push the gravel up underneath here. Uh, yep, and so then the main stack is over here, and she, sa she says she knows that there's holes out in the pipe out in the main but she is going to address that later because we could always reline right through this toilet right here. Or we could cut the stack over here. She'd have to do a little more drywall repair, but 